Alright guys, this is Mike here. Um, Caleb just got off the account, so it's my turn to get on the account here. This is our shared Iron Man adventures, uh, playing on two iron bars here. Um, so I haven't seen the account since Caleb, but I haven't seen his clips yet either, but he should be putting the video up soon, I hope. Um, obviously he's going to be putting it before this, so if you want to see this video, he's already got that video up probably a week ago. Um, so we're going to go and check the stats out of this account. So damn, he got 30 agility, that's awesome. Um, I know he was going to get some wood cutting to bank some uh, logs for me for what I wanted to do in this video, so that's awesome. And uh looks like he got a thieving level as well. So that's some really uh, juicy stuff right there. Um, so what I plan on doing this video is I'm going to start out by doing one quest. Uh, I'm going to try to knock the waterfall quest out. And for the waterfall quest, you actually need six air runes, six earth runes, six water runes, and a rope. Um, I know where to get all those supplies. Um, one of the main things you need for waterfall quests, though, is some food, because you can get uh, one hit by some of the uh, monsters, and they can also some of the monsters also hit hates. So if you get hit by two eights, I mean, I'm dead. I only have 10 HP, and I don't feel like getting any HP levels. So I'm going to try knocking the waterfall quest out first, and then I'm going to move into some crafting. And I got a unique way I'm going to train crafting early on and make some uh, little bits of money, not a whole lot of money. Um, and then after that, I have a couple things, more things up my sleeve that I want to show you guys. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get all the stuff to start a waterfall quest. So I want to go get some food, and I'll bring you back when I got an inventory of usable food. Um, I think I'm going to head to Verrock and do some tea stalls. I think some tea will be good enough for my early levels. Um, also, before I get going, I want to show the bank here. Um, I'll have to blur that bank pin out, which kind of sucks. Put my bank pin in. Um, so he got 665 coins. That's not a bad start. He's already got a rope in there. That's awesome. Um, so I only need two more earth runes because he's got six water and six air. And then he's got some feathers and some axes. Sweet. Oh, he's got 165 log too. That is juicy. Okay. So I'm going to go get some food, and then uh, I'll bring you back when i got a full inventory of food to get started. Alright, so there is five thieving. Uh, that's the level I needed to go start my tea stalls here in Varrock. So I'm going to go to the tea stalls, get a full inventory, and uh, see what level I get. I also got some coins here. Um, up to 100, so that'll help me buy those runes I need to uh, start the quest. So I'll see you back after I get a full inventory of tea. Alright guys, so I just got 8 thieving, and it looks like one more and I get a full inventory. Um, this should be enough teas to get me by, um, since I can't bring the full inventory anyways. So hopefully I don't die doing this quest. I think there's a couple ways that whenever you're down there in the Moss Giants, you can tag uh, certain monsters. Uh, what I am going to do now, though, I need a couple more earth runes, and I'm going to grab a couple more water runes while I'm here, too, just so I have them. And then I'll be able to head that way and start the quest. Oh, I don't want to teleport. I want to trade. Um, so I need, let's just buy five. Ooh, God, that hurt. Uh, one, two, three more of those just to have them. And then that should be good enough. Um, Money is really tight right now on the Iron Man, which sucks. But hey, it will eventually get better, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bank this stuff, get my uh, stuff out, and head over to the start of the quest. Um, I might pick you guys up when I start the quest, and then uh, I'm going to start a timer, uh, probably on my phone. And that way you guys can know how long this quest takes me, and then I'll probably catch you guys when I get in the dangerous part or anything like that. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so here I am at the start of the quest, waterfall quest right here. Um, I have to talk to Elmera, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, guys, let me tell you what. This was a pain in the ass to get all the way here. I started here in Varrock, right? I home tallied to Lumbridge. Went, went from Lumbridge to Port Sarum. Took a boat from there to Karamja right here. From Karamja... I walked over here to take a ship to Ardung, I think that's how you pronounce that, then I walked all the way north here. Holy shit. That was an astronomical amount of walking. 
Um, some of you are probably thinking, why don't you just teleport to Barbarian Village? Well, to do that, you need to uh, unlock that first. You need to be trained in Barbarian Village. And I'm not. So I might knock that out while I'm here, because that's really frustrating. And obviously, since we're a low-level account, I don't have anything else. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and say, how can I help? I'm going to skip through this. I've done this quest a thousand times. And uh, we're going to go check on her boy down here, Hudson by the river. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Hudson River, get it. Uh, anyways, so we're going to go check on him. Uh, I'm going to bring you back probably when we are in the uh, gorilla's tomb or whatever. Um, so until then, guys, I will bring you back in just a second. All right, guys, so here I am back at the tomb. Um, this is the dangerous part. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the pebble in there. Um, I think i got to go west and south. So uh, I think what people say to do is attack a skeleton. Let it tag you. Come over here and get this chest. I got the amulet now, so now I need to go get... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I need to come over here. I'm going to tag the skeleton so he attacks me. And then I need to go search the tomb here. So skeleton's on me, so I can't get one hit now. So I'm going to go and search the tomb. I've got the urn. I'm going to tag this skeleton. And now I'm going to run back. Oh, shit. Hopefully this moss giant doesn't aggro, and it doesn't. Now I'm going to climb up the ladder, and I'm safe. So now the next thing i got to do here is got to go to the falls again, finish up the quest, and I will see you back at the quest, uh, the end cutscene. Um, hopefully I don't die getting there, because there's a moss giant and fire giants in the other room. But we're good to go. So far, these T's are proven worthy. So I will see you back at the end cutscene. Welp, this just happened. Couldn't eat fast enough. Rip me, dude. Uh, I don't even know what to do right now. So, I need to finish this quest, obviously. But, I need to go get more food. Because I took all the tea with me. Then I gotta somehow get back there. this is killing me um yeah wow okay so i guess i'm gonna go get more food in Verak and try to get back there again this is great i gotta go get my amulet back too which isn't that hard because i can get the key again this is just terrible I'll see you back when I get back to the falls again. Wow. I lost my six runes too. So I have to go buy those again. This hurts a lot, guys. This hurts a lot. <sighs> I'll be back. Alright, so here I am back in this room. Um, it looks like we need to go ahead and put all of our runes on here. I did pick up my runes for my last death. I didn't know if they were going to be there or not. It's been a while since I've died in this game like that. So, I did get past it okay, obviously, this time. So, I'm going to do all this. Make sure all this is done right. If you don't do this right, you die. So, that would be really tragic. So, I'm going to keep doing all this. Get this all done. And then, I think I need to read the guide one more time real quick. Oh, that's already there. So, that there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now it says I need to put uh, the amulet on the statue of Gariel. So, statue of her. Nothing interesting happens. Oh, yeah, so I need to put this that use on her. Boom, that'll rise up. So now what I need to do, I need to put the urn on that. Be careful, lady the ashes, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Quest done. Let's go. First quest of the account. What does that give us? That gives us 30 strength, 30 attack. That's beautiful. Um, so we can go straight to Addy weapons, which is nice. So that is an awesome little achievement there. Quest done. Did die once, which sucks. Um, 146 total level now, which is pretty nice. That's a good thing. 
Um, we have two gold bars and two diamonds. The diamonds will probably go in the bank. The gold bars I might sell for some cash because we are hurting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and TP home. Um, the next thing I want to do is, uh, well, let me get to the place and I'll uh, explain kind of my process. I think I'm going to go to Varrock and see if I can't buy a cheap weapon to use in starting. Uh, maybe try to get an Addy weapon. I don't know how much cash that all cost there, but that'd be nice. So I might sell my two gold bars and uh, maybe some of the flower mithril seeds to get that all going. So let me get to Varrock, see how much cash I have, check the sword shop out, and then I'll be back when I am there. Alright, so I end up having to sell both my diamonds here for some cash, and then I sold two plants here. Um, the Addy sword I want costs 3200 I don't have that. The Mithril longsword, on the other hand, only costs 1300 I do have that. Let's check normal swords. Uh, so the Addy normal sword, there we go. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the Mithril long. There it is. Alright, um, so once I get to where I'm going, I will uh, let you know. All right, so I'm back at the next spot here. Um, yes, this is a cow pin. Yes, I do have gold coins in my inventory. I will explain it. So what I'm going to be doing here is going to be killing cows. I'm going to be picking up the bones and hide. I'm going to be burying the bones right away for quick prayer XP early on. And then after that, I'm going to be using my block to get the defense level so we don't have to use food as much. After I get a full inventory of hides, I'm going to, I'll open up my map here, walk down here, pay the toll. Go over here, tan the stuff, craft it all, sell it to the general store, and pr complete this process here until about 20 crafting. Um, this is a viable way to do early crafting. Um, probably not the best. Uh, there's probably some quests I could do to get nice early crafting levels, um, but this is nice and chill for me, and I enjoy this way. Um, so I'm going to do this till about 20, um, get some supplies, and then I'll be able to sell my better made items for a better price, obviously. Um, after that... Um, my next goal would be 40 mining and 40 smithing so I can start doing my own gold bars, uh, smithing and melting, or uh, mining and smithing them. Uh, that way I can start making my own jewelry for teleporting and stuff like that. But right now I'm going to do this. This will get me some viable starting cash. Um, I'm going to do this for a little bit. I will come back after I have the first inventory so you can see me going from here over here to get my crafting supplies, making all the stuff, selling and dropping it. Um, so I'm going to get a full inventory here and I'll be back. Um, I'll also just update you on the levels whenever I bring you back into the videos. That way I don't have to update you on every defense level and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll be back on a forum to fill my first full inventory. Alright, as promised, here I am back with my full inventory. So I'm going to keep you guys live while I go through this process so you can kind of get a feel for what I'm doing here. Like I said, this necessarily isn't the best early level training for crafting. Um, it's just something I completely enjoy. This Pay 10 uh, GP here is going to get old though. Um, so I went ahead and paid it. I'm going to go through. Um, it's just nostalgic for me. I think that's the only reason I do it. It's not the most efficient. Um, so don't ever say that anything I do is the most efficient thing here. I do it just because I enjoy the grind and enjoy playing it this way. I'm going to make these all soft leather. After I got that done, I am now going to... Ooh, I forgot this guy sells scars. Man, I could have bought a Mithril Scimitar instead of what I got. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to come over here to the crafting supply store, which is right here on this corner. I'm going to trade uh, Domic, I think his name is. Yeah, Domic. I have to drop one of my leathers first. I'm going to trade Domic. I need to get one needle, and I need to get a bunch of thread. They're so cheap, I'm going to grab them all. I'm going to go ahead and just make. I think I can only make gloves to start with. Um, so these levels are going to just come in super duper quick here um just the actions are not really that long and i just enjoy this part of the game uh so there's already level two crafting so all i gotta do is just recast it here um i won't make money off gloves so i have to drop the gloves when i make them um no big deal right um i will start making more money when i get into the chaps and the hard leather and stuff like that that's where the money will start coming in and now i can do polished buttons i should get another level out of this inventory Four more actions, three more actions, two more actions, so on and so forth. Um, i got to drop one of these gloves. Oh, there it is right there. For crafting, I can now make cantilanterns. There we go. I'm going to actually wear one of these and pick up this leather before it despawns. 
Um, I don't think I can make gloves yet. Nope, you need seven crafting. Or boots, I mean. So that won't take long. Once I get to the coifs, that's where I start making money. Or I shouldn't say making money like I'm going to be rich, but I'll be making my money back. Also, um, I haven't showed you my levels I got. I did get a uh, beginner clue scroll, so that's kind of neat. I'm going to keep that in my inventory until uh, I go back to the bank. I'm not going to go back to the bank right away. Um, but I did end up getting seven defense. Not too bad for one inventory full of bones. Or uh, hide. I got one per level just gonna bury the bones because why not and then i got one hp level so not too bad um with seven defense i don't take any hits from the cows anymore so that's really nice um so i'm gonna do this a couple times i'd like to get to at least 10 to 15 crafty maybe um uh, maybe higher depending on how much i want to grind this so i'll bring you back um the next couple crafting levels all right so i'm back here again um looks like i just got seven crafting which means i can now make boots pie dishes and gold bracelets um so obviously i'm gonna make the boots because that's the best i can make which is nice and i'll actually wear that brown boots i'm gonna open this up real quick because i'm curious on what crafting level i can start let's go to armor so nine is i can start making the calls those will start selling for a little bit of gp not a whole lot but a little bit is better than nothing van braces leather bodies is what i want to try to get to today um so that won't take me too long uh, leather chats would be cool, but I just think those are a little bit further away. I mean, it's going to be a lot of levels today in this one thing. Um, I might be able to grind it out. I'm not sure. But I'm obviously going to go get some more cowhide, repeat the process, and hopefully I can get nine in the next inventory. Hopefully that's not too many boots, and I can start making some cowls and selling them. I'll be back. All right, guys, there we are. There's nine crafting. That means I can now make leather cowls which is a nice little improvement. I think it's going to be a lot better XP. Uh, and then I think I can sell these for money. Also, they have defensive bonuses, which is a lot better than what I have now, which is a no defensive bonus. So I know I'm going to look like a gaber, but I'm going to wear that. Let's head over to this general store and see how much they sell for. See if they get anything. I'd be happy with like 12 coins a piece. I doubt I'll get that, but we'll see. I think I can also sell other cowls to the archer shop for a better price nine coins that's not bad so nine coins for the first one eight coins for the second one eight coins again and down to seven coins i'm okay with that that pays they don't want these boots do they that pays for my tanning fees they do want these boots so two coins let's sell five of them see what they're worth they're worth one coin a piece might as well sell them they're worth zero now i'll just unload them uh so that pays for a little bit of stuff. Um, I want to get to where the fact that this doesn't go down, uh, it just slowly goes up when I'm doing this method, because that would be nice. I think I'm going to do maybe one or two more trips and um, then switch to something else. I have a quest I want to get done, and then I also have one more thing in Barak I want to do before I give the account back to Caleb, just to make sure that when he gets on, he'll be excited about what he's going to be doing for the next thing. I'm um, currently talking to him on Discord, so he's editing his first video, so I'm super psyched to see that um, and see what he's got in store for his next video. He's got a lot of progress that he's been planning out, so I'm excited to see what he's got going on. Um, so let me give you a couple more inventories, and I'll get back to you when I get uh, to where I think is a good stopping point. Alright, so I think that's enough crafting for me. Um, I did get uh, to level 11, so I did be able to make these uh, leather van braces. I'm going to go and wear one, so it's better than my gloves, in my, in my uh, opinion. So I'll get a little bit of better defense here. Um, I am going to go over and try to sell these, see where my cash stack is. And then I think the next thing I'm going to do is do the Restless Ghost Quest. Um, I'm going to do that just for the early... Um, per XP. Um, it's always nice to have per. These sell for seven a piece, and these sell for nine a piece. It's at eight right now. I think I'm gonna bank some of these and try to sell them at the um, range shop in uh, Verak when I get there. I think they sell a lot better there. I think it's either the range shop. Or there's a shop that sells like plate bodies and stuff. I'm thinking he might buy that or the range shop buys them for a lot more than what they're worth in the general store. So I'm going to just keep them in the bank for now. I don't need them for anything. Um, put that away. Put that away. Um, I do need 10 GP to get back across the border. Um, so I'm going to go start the Restless co uh, Ghost Quest. Um, 
And I'm not going to show you all that. I'm going to end up right here uh, in the swamp, start the quest, do all this running around. Um, so I will actually bring you back when the quest is done. Um, just because I don't want to show all the boring stuff. Everybody's seen this quest done. Um, it's just going to eat up time on my clips. And I'm already getting really close to my max minutes here. Um, so I'm going to bring you back when the quest is fully complete. Um, while I'm at the mage um, tower, I am going to go ahead and start the... Um, quest for the wizard where I got to get the beads uh, might as well just start it while I'm there so that I can start collecting the beads and it uh, doesn't take any time away so I'll bring you back when that quest is uh, when the restless ghost is done and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next after that all right so I got this dude skull now I'm gonna talk to him blah 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 found it I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there that should end the quest yep go to this little neat little cutscene release thank you stranger Whoa, that's actually pretty cool, right? That's a pretty cool, pretty cool cutscene right there. He leaves, boom, prayer XP in the bank. Um, I wonder what prayer level that puts me at. Eleven, damn, that's nice, super nice prayer level. That should put me up to 128 combat. Hell yeah, super nice prayer level. Prayer levels are always nice. Only 27 till the next one too, so that means we can use rock skin. Not the best, but we'll, uh, better than nothing, right? Um, so my next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to Verrock, do the museum in the bottom. Um, I want to do the museum because when Caleb gets on, I think he told me he was wanting to do Slayer. So if he's doing Slayer, I can get him some quick levels there. Um, so get rid of the early game levels there. And also get some Nine Hunter there too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, when I get finished with that, I'm going to probably wrap up my video. So I will see you guys in Verrock Museum. Alright, so I believe this is my last plaque I have to study. Um, while using a rune light, this is super easy. Um, it just highlights it in green. I didn't know that. Um, so that should be my last one. Bonza, mate. That's all of them. Well done. You finished all the displays. Blah, blah, blah. Come here and talk to me. So let's go talk to Orlando Smith. Get that, uh, that free XP. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Converted all the mistakes. Boom. There is Slayer and Hunter level, dude. There we go. So sick. So, gives us 9 Slayer. It's nice and 9 Hunter, which is easy early game stuff, man. Um, so, with that, that puts us at 201 total level. I believe I started the clips at 84 total level, so that means I've got over 100 total levels this account, or this uh, video, which is just awesome. I am going to get the collection long while I'm up here just so I can start this and not have to come back here. Um, just something to remember as was my long term goals is to get this done. So as you can see I have nothing in here yet. Raise clues, nothing. So that'd be cool. Get to slowly uh, knock these out. The one I'm probably gonna do the most is probably the clues. I think that's what I will grind the most of because that's what I enjoy the most. Um, so this video, let's uh, just recap here, 30 attack, 30 strength from the Waterfall Quest, 16 defense from killing cows, uh, 11 prayer from killing cows and doing the Restless Ghost, 14 hit points, uh, 30 agility was already on there, so that's what he got. I got 9 early thieving from getting the T's to do that quest, 11 crafting from killing cows, which I really enjoy doing, um, Slayer and Hunter are nine for me both from just doing that Orlando Smith stuff and then Caleb got that 20 wood cutting uh, before I got on so I'm gonna take myself over here to the bank go ahead and log off um, so this will be video number two um, if you guys have lasted this long in the video I greatly appreciate it I greatly appreciate all the support you guys are watching that's awesome um, if you guys could before you leave Please like and subscribe the video. You don't realize how much that helps us. And uh, just getting new subscribers and new likes on the video, um, it really motivates us to do what we do. Um, we put in a decent amount of hours, and we're not the best editors. We do all of our own editing. So um, just those hours when we could be doing something else, uh, anything around the house or anything like that. We're uh, both adults and have full-time jobs during the day, so we're just doing this to, just for the fun of it. So the likes and subscribes, man, they really, uh, they really motivate us. Um, also... 
comment down below. Um, tell us what you guys like us to see on the account next. Um, maybe give us some tips too. This is our my first Iron Man. Um, I've had a hardcore in the past that was free to play, but I didn't really do a whole lot on him. So I'm gonna be pushing this one with Caleb pretty hard. So if you guys got some tips and tricks for early game levels that I'm doing wrong or he's doing wrong, leave that stuff down in the comments. We will uh, read our comments. We will comment back. We'll uh, we'll try to be very good on that um, as much as we can. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, keep chugging along. Keep grinding out what you're grinding. And um, I will leave you guys in Caleb's hands for the next video. And I'll see you back for video four, guys. Other than that, peace out.